In this section, we'll look at various other situations that call for advanced tree falling techniques. Some of these techniques are used with problem trees and are designed to reduce the high risks associated with them. As we examine these methods, keep in mind that you should never try them on your own unless you've been trained in how to do them by an expert and been accredited with an advanced tree falling ticket. One of the most dangerous hazards an operator can be faced with is a tree splitting while it's being cut. In its most serious form, the tree can create a barber's chair, also called a tombstone, which is deadly if you're standing in the way. Some species are more likely to split than others and need to be cut in a specific way to avoid splitting. But any tree can potentially split if it isn't cut properly, especially if it's got a damaged stem or as a heavy leaner. If you need to fall a heavy forward leaner, you'll have to remove as much of the potential splitting wood as possible before you do the release cut. You can do this using the strap technique. Cut the scarf normally, with a depth of between a quarter and a third of the diameter of the tree. If the tree is leaning so heavily that you can't get in that far, you may have to cut the scarf a little shallower. Then bore in behind the hinge wood at the height of a normal back cut, cutting forward and back, but leaving a holding strap or anchor at the back of the tree. Put your back cut in below the bore cut, no higher than the bottom of the scarf, to avoid getting the saw caught on the step as the tree falls. If the trunk's diameter is wider than the length of the bar, put a bore cut in from both sides. Make sure your second bore cut is on the same side as your escape route. Then stand on the same side to cut the strap at the back. Trees that are up to two and a half times the length of the bar can be felled using a V scarf. This scarf can be tricky to cut because you need to match up the two sloping cuts. But its advantages are that it lets you get in to do a bore cut through the scarf to remove wood that you wouldn't otherwise be able to reach and it controls the tree through a wider arc while it's falling. When you do the bore cut, put it in at the same height as the back cut is going to be. Make sure that there's enough hinge wood left on either side, and make the hinge a bit thicker to compensate for the wood that you've taken out. Start the back cut by boring in behind the hinge wood, away from the safe side of the tree, that is, away from your escape route, and work your way around until you finish on the safe side. This fellow has worked from the right side to the left side on his back cut and put wedges in as he went. Now he's well placed to escape. Double leaders have two stems and depending on where the fork is can cause various problems. Sometimes when the fork is near the ground the weakness in the trunk runs down into the area you plan to cut so that when you try to fall it as a single tree the two leaders split apart and fall in different directions. If the fork is no higher than shoulder level, you can fall the two leaders separately by ripping down the trunk to the point where you plan to put in your back cut. Make sure you fall the most hazardous leader first and use a bore cut to start the back cut. Then fall the other leader in the usual way. If the fork is high enough, fall the double leader as a single tree at right angles to the fork. Defective trees include trees that are rotten, burnt or hollow. Use the same principle as you would for solid trees, but make sure you compensate for any missing hinge wood by increasing the thickness of the hinge in the sound sections. For burnt out trees, Scarf both sides of the burnt out section. Put a bore cut in on the side of your planned escape and then bore in from the other side and work back to the first bore cut. If you're falling the tree in the opposite direction, put a separate bore cut in on each side and finish off with back cuts either side of the hollow.
stags are dead or severely damaged trees. In these cases, increase the depth of the scarf to half the diameter of the tree, if it's reasonably sound, and put the back cut in slightly lower than normal. Don't wedge the tree over unless it's absolutely necessary.